All right. Well, welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. Look at you. This is a special edition. Uh, I, I, I can see what the studio looks like from the outside. Yeah, yeah we're uh, not quite as uh, professional as usual, yeah. but uh, we are. This is, professional. Yeah. Well, it's the, the Midwest Sports Show, and we have a treat for everyone. Uh, we have Gene walking the streets of Chicago. Well, I just decided to sit down. Is that too dark? Can you see me no, okay? No, I can't, can't see you at all. All right. Well, I'm glad we're doing oh, the lighting uh, during the beginning oh, of the show, just like uh, Citizen I, Kane. Gene. We need a police helicopter. All right. Where's all the murders? In, where's all the murders in Chicago when you need well, them? Say you have a handgun. I'm sure a lot of people will be uh, there. Oh, say you saw a black okay. guy with a handgun. Everyone I'm under a light, so hopefully they, I want how's you, that? You're, you're almost to the car, so why don't you go walk to the car, and then I will. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, again, this is called the Midwest Sports Show. My name is uh, Chris Stotts, and uh, with me, as oh. always, but uh, across the country in Chicago, Illinois, <laughs> is uh, Illinois. Gene Steichen from his Skype yeah. phone, from his phone on Skype. I should have stayed in Wisconsin. They yeah. treated us better. <laughs> hey, uh, good, good thing good thing I, I was good. Oh, I shouldn't say anything bad about the Bears because they're they're still very upset here. Not uh, not, not a good showing uh, from uh, Illinois sports uh, this weekend. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing: the Cub fan, because I was in the uh, Cubby Bear after the game, which is you walk out of Wrigley Field and you walk into the Cubby Bear, and uh, they're still partying. They don't. I mean, win or lose, the Cubs they know how to shake off a loss. So. Hopefully yeah. they'll come back tomorrow and be okay. Yeah, I bet. Well, we have a lot of fun uh, to talk about, including Gene's trip to the Midwest, where he went to the uh, Green Bay Packer game. That's right. The Chicago Bears, and literally witnessed a miracle. I might have been I, I, the second I, I, rising of Christ, for all uh, I'm yeah. concerned. From what I've read, people are very impressed by Aaron Rodgers today. Yeah, right? uh, Bill. We'll, we'll get to all that, but Bill Simmons uh, okay. made sure everyone knew that uh, Tom Brady has won five Super Bowls. By the way, everyone. Oh uh, my before god! Before everyone starts saying the goat, he's won five. Okay, all right, Tom. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. All right Bill. Yeah. All right, well, we'll talk about that. And then Gene was at uh, the Cubs, the Brewers yeah. versus, versus Cubs in Wrigley Field uh, mere minutes ago, which ended. Right. And uh, Gene is not uh, kicking back a couple belts at the uh, <laughs> Cubby Bears, the so Cubby you know Bears. that they lost. <laughs> no, I, I I have to drive to uh, Elk Grove, so no. Uh, uh, and, and the crown yeah. jewel of your trip, you're going to do what, uh, band camp or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, Iowa, that was a great, well, I went to the Iowa game, that was great. Oh, yeah, you went uh, that too? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was on Saturday. And then the Billy Joel concert. That was fantastic. You know, Gene, I was trying to get people to watch the Iowa-Iowa State game uh, at a place I was watching football at. No, no, no takers. No takers. Oh, come on. No takers. All right, yeah. well, Gene. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, the Badgers Badgers are coming to Iowa City in two weeks, so they better be ready. It's it's going to be the primetime game, 730 national TV, and I'll be there. Right. And I'm not scared of the Badgers. You're gonna be out. You're gonna stay in the Midwest for like three weeks, for like a month. Oh, I'm coming back and then I'm going. Yeah, I'm coming back and then going again. Wow. All yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Gene, uh, we're gonna kind of weave our way into the, the stories of uh, your okay. experience in the Midwest. And Gene, when we last uh, saw each other, you were sitting right here. I next, was next in the studio. Me. Looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And uh, the uh, on Labor Day. And the Milwaukee yeah. Brewers had uh, fairly early on defeated the Brewers. I'm sorry, the uh, Chicago Cubs and mm-hmm. uh, Cole Hamels. Do you remember yeah. that day, Gene? Do you remember no, that day? It seems a just, distant memory. It was just yesterday. Well, uh, Cole Hamels, even though he got beat. Uh, oh, that, that. Oh, okay. That I know what comment, you're talking about. Thought he would comment on the rivalry. Oh my gosh! Now, now, now we got the old, the old Brewers all fired up, and they're, Gene, they they've won six to seven, or we yes, six of, to seven. We got a lot of hash to settle here, Gene. We got a lot of stuff to go. All right, with. all right. Uh, I blame Cole. Cole. Don't don't get those Milwaukee people fired up, man. The state of Wisconsin, because now they can't lose, and they're only okay. You'll. I, I know. Wins, you know? It's one, Momentum it's is one. on our side. Tomorrow night, there could be a two-way play, tie for first. Yep. Yeah. Right. We'll see about that. But Cole uh. Hamill's quote, 
uh, on the rivalry. When you have the majority of Cubs fans in the stands, I don't know if that's a rivalry. Hamill said that bluntly after the road loss. They aren't going to mm-hmm. like me for the comment, but look at the ticket sales when they start to get a little closer and their fans sell out. But I think that's kind of the understanding of a rivalry. Uh, it's probably not going to get said too well. Well, uh, Cole. <laughs> you leave Cole alone. We're going to need him to win the World well, Series. Well, He's our uh, only I'll chance. I'll let you defend uh, your pitcher. All right. Go ahead. Okay. But uh, I, got, well, I, got, I got a message well, for him. Cole's new to the Cubs in uh, Milwaukee. I think he's only been to Milwaukee a few times when he pitched for the Phillies. But he just pointed out the obvious. When I was in Milwaukee, there are a lot of Cub fans. And now tonight at Wrigley, not so many Brewer fans. Uh, so Gene, there are a couple, it's I, a little I, I heard some moose. I heard some moose calls from Moustakis today. Oh, I don't think you heard anything. No, I was right. Oh, by the way, I have best seats ever tonight. I've right, had. We'll, so. we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Well, okay. uh, well, Gene, let me. I got a little message for your uh, pitcher. If that's what Cole? you want, if that's what you want to call. Right. Him. Yeah, it's just direct and Cole, to... uh, I'll Tell you what, if the good people, will, will, uh, I'm sorry, if the good people of Wisconsin, yeah, can sell you fibs. I think you know what that means, fibs. <laughs> I know it's a dirty. What? Gene, you heard about the R word or the N word? This is the F word. I don't oh, know, I don't want to okay. say it. Oh wow! This is the new F word, fibs. Yeah, fibs. Google it. Okay. If you're not from the Midwest, double. If the good people of Wisconsin can sell you fibs, double the market value, and then watch mm. your team lose on TV, then listen. I don't want to be wrong. Wow. I don't want to be right. Right? Is that the way it is? If that's wrong, I, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm too upset to really know Sorry, what Cole. you're talking about. Sorry, Cole. Leave Cole alone. Cole's also, been, also, he's been, also, yeah. What, 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 what rivalry were you from, Cole? Let's hear about your rivalry. What, the the, the Phillies? Who, who was your rivalry with the uh, Marlins? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Where, oh, well. Where did you guys get him from, by the way? Where was he with? Uh, he was with the Rangers, where his oh ERA God. with the Rangers was about seven, and he come to the Cubs, he's been fantastic. How about your rivalry with the Astros, huh, Cole? Uh, how many people in the stands for that rivalry, huh, Cole? Oh, my God. You better be careful because he's going to, I think, wait, is he pitching against the Brewers? Hopefully he's pitching this series because we need him. Sunday, Monday. I'm saying, uh, Cole, uh, before you start judging, maybe yeah. look around your own house. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys are going to escape him. He's not pitching this oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All right. So oh, after, the, him. after the butt whooping. Of Cole Hamels. Uh, it was game two of that three-game series on Tuesday. And uh, Milwaukee's kind of flexed their muscle. Brewers kind of flexed their muscle. We don't need to get too wow. much into it, Gene. Yeah. But, however, yeah. after the game, yeah, someone flew an L. In wow. The and, Gene, Didn't uh, know that. of course, uh, you know, the Cubs fans, you guys are always th- th- flying the W. After you guys win? Yeah. I, I no guess w, w stands for win. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, win. I, I guess you forgot your sheet that says L when you lost. Cause, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know you what to do. Tonight, yeah, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I got to. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, after the Cubs, I'm used to the Cubs going to a Cub game, and then they play the, the – uh, hey, Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are going to win today. That song. And today they played this other vaudevillian song. And I'm like, what the hell is that? Where's the Cubs win song? Then I had to remind myself, oh, they lost. And you had to pull it up on your phone. on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. So, and you know what? I was sitting right behind home plate. And uh, Theo was sitting out. He, they have a box right above the catcher, right below the press box. And, and Theo was sitting by himself out. He came out of the office and just, there's seats out there. And he just sat there, uh, in the ninth and, uh, he, he didn't look happy. And then when they lost, Theo just sat there and he didn't move. So I just watched him and he was just sat there and he just like shaking it. He was like, oh, what, what? Like, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, we're up four and a half games. Now, now it's a one game right, lead, right, we're getting a and we got to fly. Okay, whatever. All right. So, anyways, the hero who brought the L was uh, yeah. Jay Ryan, a deforest man who orchestrated the giant wow. flag Tuesday okay. with some help from a few Akamawana High School grads. So there you go. Hmm. All right, and well, then uh, so Gene, uh, not so good after the series. You guys did pull out the game three. 
Barely. Yeah, and we won, and then we won one game in Washington. It's like, okay, now we're back rolling, and then now they've lost three straight. Well, oh, you then, go so you win the first oh, game in God. Washington, right? Right. And then it's storming, it's raining, hurricane all on the East Coast, right? And uh, what you guys play like literally two innings or something? Yeah. Like that? So Lester, then we lose Lester after that because yeah. he can't pitch the next day so they have to start oh do you gonna how, how miserable do you want me to be then the next day they so they start some rookie i've never heard of he they called him up by the minors and he got shelled so did they yeah uh, did they actually replay the whole game or did they start at the second or third inning or something no they replayed they did a complete double wow. yeah wow and lester lester was done so he couldn't pitch. So you lose. So you go from uh, winning your first game to getting rained out, and then losing two games in a row. Yeah, and then the sitting out another huge. Yeah, then sitting through another huge rain delay, and they didn't play. Now the Cubs got to play. The Cubs haven't had an off day in a month. And they got rained out and again they, on Sunday. Yeah, and then they got to play them on uh, Thursday. They got to fly back to D.C. on Thursday, and and they, that means the Cubs won't have an off day for over thirty days. And also, what happens here is Scherzer's going to pitch again Thursday. <laughs> he, we already, he already he pitched Saturday. The Cubs, wow, that's oh, awesome, they, play him, they play him. They play him four games, and Scherzer's going to pitch two of them. That's not fair. <laughs> wow, well, that, that, well, this could not line up better for the uh, Milwaukee. Yeah, because uh, Scherzer Scherzer pitched Saturday, so he'll be pitching Thursday again. And Gene, what did I wow. what did I text you, Gene? I yeah, you, you mess with the weather, Gene. You start messing with guys. <laughs> you, you yeah, find out who's the real god? Who, who really? Oh, that's the weather. right. Cubs, it's been unbelievable how many games they've lost and had to do all this stuff. Way more it's, than it's they've ever had to. You're, you're yeah. the curse of the goat, the Billy Goat, Gene. How about the yeah. curse of the sunburn during a thunderstorm? How about that sunburn? Right, right. How, it all how, goes how, back to last year on that Friday when the Cubs called the game and it was it didn't even rain. Yeah, it was like a Thursday, I think, right? But it was like, yeah, the, yeah, it, it, yeah. SPF curse of the SPF forty. How about that? That's the new. That's okay, the new all right. I like well, it. I like it. Hey, if the Cubs, Cubs, if the Cubs win this division, they they they've earned it for sure. Right. But now nah, I'm worried. Right. St. Well, Louis. Well, while the okay, Cubs were, uh, you know, the, you know, sweeping out, I don't know what, uh, drying off in Washington D.C. The Brewers were playing the San Francisco Giants. They swept them. Yeah. And then Ryan Braun got in a tussle, right? Well, I right, didn't we see got that. Right, we got uh, Bumgarner, Madison Bumgarner. Right, well, Gene. Here, here's the story, Gene. I, I know you're traveling. Well, I was I was waiting to go to the tailgate, the official Packers tailgate, and I saw the uh, Giants were ahead of the Brewers and Bumgartner was pitching. I go, oh, this game is going to go in our way. And then it all fell apart. Well, I didn't see what happened. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. Uh, Bumgartner, his team is currently, what are they? They're 66-76, uh, and 76, 11 and a half games out of uh, first place in the West. Okay. And uh, he's staring down all the Brewers pitchers and trying to intimidate them as if, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're deep in the playoff race or something <laughs> like that. So uh, he's staring down Ryan yeah. Braun, and Ryan Braun's just like, dude, just throw the ball. You know, he literally, you can see a mouth, dude, throw the ball. And then Bumgarner starts uh, talking, like, as if he's back in North Carolina, in Asheville, North Carolina, like a shooting that coons. Where from? Do, do you even know? Shooting who? Coons. Raccoons. That's what they do. Oh, my gosh. Be careful there. Uh, so uh, so he's saying, you want some? Come give me. Mm. And then he proceeds to uh, brush off Braun with a pitch and then hits him. Yeah, that's what I heard. And then and then what and happened Bron, after that? Braun has a couple of thoughts to the catcher. And then, uh, you know, there's all these warnings and all this stuff. And then uh, Craig Council comes out. Hey, hey, what's going on? Why are you warning us? So there's no way. I mean, right. again, it seems like everyone is against the Brewers, Gene. And Everybody? We're, okay. We're, we're paying for these bad pitchers on the other side that are messing with our players. We're not retaliating. We're not doing the Tony La Russa method of baseball. And we're getting yeah. penalized. So uh, Craig Council just wants to get his opinion heard. His thoughts on the matter hurt, and he gets thrown out. Oh, he did? Yeah, he gets thrown out. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Seems like he gets thrown out every single goddamn game. But, uh, well, guess what, Gene? Uh, Sweet rewards to Madison Bumgarner. And uh, Brian Scope, uh, or Jonathan Scope, uh, proceeded to hit a grand slam home run. Oh. uh, Wow. So, uh, listen, Madison. 
Yeah. Uh, keep that crap San Francisco. All right. Not not in Milwaukee. Nice. Not in Milwaukee. That don't play in Milwaukee. Yeah, that was a great – well, could you have a better day than what uh, they did? The whole state of Wisconsin yesterday yeah, then? It seemed pretty bad for a moment. But, Gene, we'll, uh, we'll pull back a little bit. So when did you actually get to the Midwest? When did you actually go? Oh, I flew I flew Friday. Oh, okay. I yeah, then I rented a car and I drove over to Wrigleyville because I went to the and, – and, and the weather is bad all week, but it was nice. It's been nice all weekend, basically. Kind of cold. But so, so I, I came Joel to Wrig- – yeah, at Wrigley Field, and he was awesome. And he loves Chicago. That's what he said at least, and I believe <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then after the concert, uh, I drove back to Dubuque, my hometown, which, wow, that was a tough one. The, the, it, it was three hours at midnight or whenever. You know, I got back at two thirty in the morning. Oh wow! And then I had to get then then I had to get up the next morning and drive to Iowa City, where I took my mom to the the Iowa Iowa State game, which Iowa won. So that was good. Well, it was a late game, right? So you had a couple hours in there. Yeah, sleep. well, not too much because mom's got a schedule for breakfast at you know. So I uh, <laughs> get there and then <laughs> I don't know. You got obligations. And then, uh, the game was at, yeah, the game was at four Iowa time. And it, and, and it didn't get out. We didn't get out of Iowa City till later. And I had to drive back to Dubuque. So I was pretty tired by then. And then the next morning, I had to get up and drive to Green Bay, which is, uh, uh, 200 miles. Yeah. So, well, at least the traffic yeah. wasn't terrible, like in uh, Los Angeles, right? And you must have felt. Great oh, Iowa out. City was Iowa City was tough because uh, that the the uh, one half of the road was washed out from all the rain. And you know the Mississippi River is up, so there's a there's a boat, there's a cruise ship that's stuck in Dubuque right on the water because they can't go under the bridge. The water's too high. Oh, wow. But yeah, the traffic's much nicer unless you count Chicago, which is uh, just a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you but, go to the uh, Iowa Iowa State game. Was that fun? Yeah. Or anything? Oh, it, it was so great. And Iowa won thirteen to three. And, and they walked, take that Cyclones. And, and they walk by the kids and said hello to them. Oh, that's so- oh yeah, 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 yeah. We wait for yes. The hospital overlooks the stadium, and I was sitting near them. And yeah, you wave to them, and they're waving the whole game at you. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we won. Yeah. All right, and then of course the big day. That was Sunday exciting. What, yeah. Where, where were you after the Iowa game? Did you go back to Dubuque or where did you? Yeah, we had to drive. I had to drive back Saturday night to Dubuque. And then Sunday morning, I got up and drove, took off for Green Bay. So I went how, through. Uh, how long is it to, from Dubuque to Green Bay? It's, it's, it's only Six? about, it's, uh, no, it's only about 200 miles. But, uh, yeah, it takes a little three hours, a little yeah. over three hours because you got, you go through Madison. And then you get to go to Oshkosh and uh, Appleton, yep. and then you go to uh, Green Bay. But it was uh, I I went I went early because I knew there'd be a lot of traffic later. Because people for the Packers they come from all over the state, so I got there early. So where yeah. did you do you park in someone's lawn or did you park in Oshkosh? I didn't park on lawn. <laughs> I did. I how about this? Because I got I got to Green Bay about. Uh, six hours before kickoff, so I parked right next to where the Packers practice, right on that side and you street. Still right parking next to vomit, them. even though it was six hours before the game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. How, so how much was parked? Because I always want to know this stuff. How much was parking? I parked on the street next to the stadium, oh, wow. but parking. It was amazing how cheap it is in Green Bay. I mean, the people on the lawns, they, the best houses, you'll pay 40 and then usually 20 to pe- park on the lawns. And I think if you want to park at the stadium, uh, I think it's 40. It's pretty good. It's not like Chicago. Chicago they just crush you well, on yeah, parking. I mean, I- I think when yeah, we went to San Francisco it was like eighty bucks but, or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, the Rams is a hundred dollars. But I'll tell you, if you get there, if you get to Green Bay early enough, there's a street next to where the Packers their practice facility, and uh, you can park there before they close it off. So that's what I I know these things by you going can, ever. I've you been can, you can lift going if you want to. You can, yes, you can lift I went. I, I went. I went to the stadium where they practice and, and they bike over. Yeah, they, they had it so you can look in. So I went there. Yeah, 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 I could. Right. Great. Now, did you already, right, so, and you already bought your tickets already, right? So you weren't like – Yes, I things? did. I did. I bought them because I found one that was a really great price and I took it and it was uh, awesome. And then where were you actually sitting? 
I was in the where where, where the Packers caught the the touchdown. I was in the other end Jerome zone. Allison? So, yeah, <laughs> okay. they didn't catch a touchdown in our end zone. No one did. No one. Else no, did. all three all three of them went no. to the other end zone. Yeah, three right. or four. Well, Gene, we'll get to the game here in a moment. Uh, okay. We'll set this up, and uh, of course, you got Khalil Mack. Uh, yeah. Last week, and uh, asked for his early impressions of Trubisky. Khalil Mack said, "Yeah." Mitch kind of looked like he's got some African American in him. He looked a little, a little darker than I expected when I first seen him. A lot of laughs. What? A lot of laughs. <laughs> wow. Gene, your thoughts? Is, is, is Trubisky a little darker than you thought? I I I, I I I don't know. I don't think so. But I'll tell you, Khalil Mack, he was a terror watching him on that field. I, I knew when that when Brian Beluga. Beluga, he, who's an Iowa Hawkeye, got called for offsides because he was ner- You could tell he was. Yeah, he had to get mid- an early jump. Oh my gosh, he well, Cleo Mack, he was just terrorizing well, the pack. He was terrorizing uh, Schizer, Kaiser Sose or whatever. It is, Deshaun Kaiser. Right, right. Let's be clear about that. But all right, of oh, course. Deshaun, yeah, Deshaun, Deshaun Kaiser, Kaiser. Yeah, that's his name. I keep on thinking the he, Kaiser. Kaiser. I'm telling you, I don't know what they see in him, but they better hope if he has to play. I predict the Packers are in trouble. <laughs> all right, well, Gene, uh, Bears come out shooting. They're yeah. looking really good, doing a bunch of stuff, moving the ball. The Packers oh, look can I defenseless. Say this about that, yes. uh, a lot of Bears fans at the game, so uh, pretty good oh, yeah. turnout for them. All right. All right. Yeah. Here, good I hear for them. Go Bears, go uh, chance a couple of times. Yeah, they were pretty loud there yeah. for a while. Yeah. And then uh, you know the Packers, they kind of uh, fizzled a little bit for a couple of offensive drives, and the Bears really can't really do too much. I think they got a field goal or something. And yeah. Of course, the he scored uh, a touchdown. Field goal, so yeah. seven thousand ten. Yeah, yeah. 10, of course the terrible happens. Oh and, my God! Uh, Rogers goes down, and uh, so and you know, I know. At first, they really like too bad, but then he was like clutching his knee, like on the ground, like ah, oh, that's not good. I, see, I couldn't see it. I saw him uh, kind of get up, didn't he, at first, and then he went back down, and then yeah. everyone came out to him, that and that's bad. when the crowd, yeah, when he w- and then goes, goes back down, yeah, not good. Yeah, that's when I was like, uh oh. And, looked and like then they had he, a, he like went. A, looked like they had an air cast over next to him, too, or something like that. Like they brought that out or something like that. So, yeah, it looked really bad. Yeah, then it, he we got up and walked to the sideline. Everyone was very optimistic. But when they when they put him on the cart and went out, wow, that's from the stadium. That was ugly. Oh, my gosh, it was sad. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. bad. And then, uh, pretty sad. And then while that's going on, uh, Kaiser, Deshaun Kaiser. Uh, fumbles basically gives Khalil Mack a ball, right, right. and then screws up a uh, screen, and Khalil Mack gets a pick six. What, uh, what do you say? What, what? How is he better than Brett Huntley? <laughs> well, he looked good. Like the first couple plays, like the first half of the series, he looked good. He threw some good passes, you know. So I don't know yeah. what happened. I don't know. Um, well, it was that. Mm-hmm. And then Gene, you know. Uh, as a as a football fan of your team, whose uh, quarterback looks yeah. like they just got lost for the whole season, you're looking down the long barrel of right. just dark depression, blue, cold Sunday afternoons. I mean, what's why even watch football? You know, that's I mean, what, what I think. I everyone in the stadium felt that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, because I where I was sitting, that was all people were talking about. Once they took, they they didn't say that till they brought the uh, the tractor out and took him off the field then they're saying oh, our season's over yeah i heard that and, so much uh, after, oh after, okay, after, and after going through that crap last year even though it was only half the season last year i'm uh, I, was, I was ready to say all right i'm not watching any more football games right right uh, right yeah and uh well gene yes of miracles half well time. i'll tell you first off oh. uh at halftime I've been to a, I go to Pat one Packers game a year, but usually it's not like that. It was seventeen nothing, and there are a lot of boos. And I was shocked that people were booing the team. I did not boo. I would never. I've never booed the Cubs or uh, Iowa or or the Packers. Nobody. No. Well, but there think, was a lot of booing. I think everyone was like, "Man, we want to go through this again." So pretty, I know. pretty dark days. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then, uh, they, they, you know, they do all the halftime show and all that stuff. And I'm looking on Twitter, and no one's really, like, saying, like, what it is. And they bring him in, you know, and they're probably getting an M- M- MRI after they had him in the tent for mm-hmm. a little bit. And uh, they show him. And uh, it's all of a sudden, it's like, what? What's going on? And, Gene, when did you, when, when did kind of, like, when was well, the he ran out of the, He ran out of the tunnel. He oh, yeah. did he come he didn't come out with the team, I don't think. He yeah, didn't he run out later? But I, the I crowd when it's tough to tell with the halftime because they cut, you know. Well, I think I think the team came out and then when he ran out of the tunnel, the crowd just it was amazing. No matter what. Even if people thought, Well, uh Green Bay can't win, but at least we didn't lose Aaron Rodgers. I think people would have traded anything just to have him back on the field, and they got both. So yeah. there. And again, it's pretty yeah. amazing how one guy goes down. It looks like the rest of the team is just completely uh, slunk. I think right. that's part of the uh, in that, the upsetness. But he comes back, uh, uh, like just like uh, Willis Wheat Reed. Yeah, Willis Reed Although, style. You know, you know, he Willis Reed was terrible in that game, and he only played a couple <laughs> series. That that thing's overrated. Aaron Rodgers, what he did, even if he's fully healthy, what the chances of what he did, that's not easy. Not yeah. at all. He has a bum knee. He can't put any weight right. on it, and he's playing professional football with right. guys that are 380 pounds throwing themselves at him, and he's throwing, completing uh, passes and touchdowns and shredding a, a professional football team's defense. This isn't a high school team. These yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, you've seen all the good throws. And, I don't know, I thought that Geronimo Allison one, of, of course it was nice that they counted it, but I think he actually kind of, uh, the ball was kind of moving. So, I don't know, was anyone, like, saying, uh, you know, review that, or did they not show I don't it? know. I didn't know. I, yeah, I mean, from what I saw on the big screen, it looked good, but I don't know. I'm yeah. glad, now that you say that, I'm glad they didn't yeah. return it. Yeah, I'll tell you one time. I'm surprised the Bears when, didn't when, uh, review it. I don't know when when the Packers are down seventeen nothing, and then uh, they kick the field goal instead of going for the touchdown at the end of the third quarter. Aaron Rodgers was super pissed off. He tried to get tell him to he tried to get the field goal team look yeah, like to yeah, yeah. get him to leave. Yeah, and then and then they, it turned out it's good they I did mean, that. The field position, well, whatever. What was the field position at like thirty thirty? They were. No, they, they were about there? on the twenty. They were pretty close, but it was it was fourth and seven. Yeah, but, that's yeah. Bit. That's a little bit. And also, I, I don't think he knew how well A Rod could play at that time. I think that's maybe that was part of it. So, yeah. Of course, looking back. So, it makes a couple of great. And then, uh, you know, Randall Cobb is just breaking stuff. And then uh, Devontae Adams uh, is breaking these crazy tackles for touchdowns and all this stuff. And it uh, was amazing seeing that happen. And what about, remember in, this, in, uh, in uh, uh, preseason, Aaron Rodgers yelling at the receivers and all that stuff? Those guys were amazing, weren't they? Yep. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. then, you know, you just seeing like that stuff in real 3D and watching that stuff live, it's 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 really hard to appreciate it. Like on TV, just don't seeing those balls go over there and wow. uh, all that stuff. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. And when you see the guy take off and, and, and you just go, the, uh, it was just amazing. One of the most amazing sporting events. Uh, well, it's way up there. I, yep. I don't know. I've been to some great ones, but so, yeah, and then the crowd went just so crazy. Just the, so crazy. And the Bears, so whatever, what happened to Mitch? What happened to Mitch? Because he played so I, well in the know. beginning. I mean, what, yeah. what happened? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was I thought the game was, yeah, and, but I thought the game was over. And then, and then, uh, we're all celebrating. And then there was a penalty about yeah. the roughing the passer. Well, Clay Matthews, Gene, and I've, uh. Oh, is that who it was? Yeah, I didn't even Matthews. know. Uh, and I've bitched about Clay Matthews long ago, long time mm-hmm. now. And he's way too old. And he really played like shit. He was really overrunning and all this stuff. Yeah, he played wow. really poorly. And then, yeah, it was fourth down. Packers basically beat the Bears. But for some yeah, reason, yeah. he's like running at Trubisky and knocks him down to the ground, like from behind. You know, probably because wow. he was frustrated because he actually didn't hit anyone because he sucks. So, yeah, uh, thanks, you gotta be, you got to be careful because they got three roughing the passers and they're, they they got to be really aware that they're, they're not going to do yeah, any. They're going to. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. And then, of course, uh, you know, the defense stops them and the Packers win 24 to 23. 
Um, mm-hmm. my, my friends I was watching the game with thought A-Rod looked super high at the end of the game. Like he was on mad painkillers. So oh, really? Was, yeah, his I, pupils I, were dying. I, <laughs> oh, wow. The, yeah. the experts. He was, yeah. I, uh, people, I stayed in the stadium till they kicked me out. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of people that stayed just down by the field, yeah. but I know I didn't see his interviews, so I don't know. Yeah. Wow, I, good I for him. I don't think he even really, he was like coy. I don't think he really even believed that, uh, what he just did. And, uh, Gene, I mean, I, you know, when I think about uh, memorable uh, Aaron Rodgers games, I mean, the, the first mm-hmm. one on my list is that it was either December 30th or 31st when they beat them to get into the playoffs. It was like fourth and seven, and uh, I think it was Peppers actually rushed them. A-Rod turns around and then launches a, a ball up to Cobb, who's like pretty much free open. Uh-huh. Cobb did. I think Cobb yeah, missed yeah. him. That's mm-hmm. the number, but I think this is probably the most memorable, like, Packer game. I think this is – it, 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 I hope this is uh, – wow. I mean, uh, yeah, it would be great if it was a Super Bowl, but it's not. It's uh-huh. just regular season game, but it's still so awesome. Yeah. Hopefully it's going to be okay. They still have to do an MRI. Didn't they do one? Yeah, and you know what? He probably tore his MCL or something. That's the what kind of makes it bittersweet. It's like, yeah, it's nice and cool. Right. You know, he's playing and all that stuff. But, I mean, you don't want his knee to get torn up, you know, and all messed up. Yeah. But you think MCL uh, is not quite as serious, though. But they saying. won't know till tomorrow, or when are they going to find no out? Matter, who knows? They're, 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 yeah. They know already. They're not just not going to say it because they don't want to. They don't want people to know that he's playing on a torn up knee. That's why. Yeah. That's why I think. He's amazing. He's a competitor. That's what you like to yeah. see. Yeah. So, so you, so the Bears can't even beat Aaron Rodgers with one leg, Gene. I mean, what, what's next? Wow. I don't know. Well, what, but they're they're the they're. Plan. they're Hey, they're going to be good, though. I think they're going to be good. <laughs> you, don't you? Don't you, you think they're going to be good? <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe. Did you listen to uh, I don't know, Chicago Sports Radio today? I mean, what was the general yes. kind of attitude? Yeah, yeah. The, I think, uh, and people, gosh, the, the Chicago people that got all dolled up for the game, very depressing. Yeah, they, uh, 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 I, from Chicago Radio, I think they, they are kind of, they think the Bears kind of blew it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so and they should have at the end of the game when it was third and two, uh, they shouldn't have passed, and they should have went for it on fourth down because the field goal still only put them up by six. That was kind of the consensus. Yeah. Well, then the guy dropped the ball. I think the guy just yeah uh, couldn't believe Kyle it. Fuller. Kyle Fuller. Yeah, I think he yeah could, because uh, he couldn't believe the guy fell down right at him. I think that's what happened. I know the game would have been over. Oh, there's so I mean, many. I'm sure yeah. you guys would have screwed something up. They would have yeah. enough time. So yeah. that was looked like the uh, Packers gave the Bears too much time, but uh, no, it was plenty of time wow. for Trubisky. Great. And yeah. uh, by the way, Gene, do you think Cleo Mack has any second thoughts of signing with the Bears? <laughs> like, oh my he, god, this, what did I get myself into? This is this is their team. That we'll see. I don't know. I think the Bears can be really good for yeah. a while now. He, he he may be texting uh, John Gruden at night. You guys better check his phone. He may be texting John yeah. Gruden. Hey, do you think Trubisky will be good, don't you think? I don't know. I thought he, didn't I thought he played well. I mean, I think yeah, I they, did too. You know, I, I think they really didn't give him much help at the end there. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. And then, uh, so, of course, you went to that, and then you went to the uh, big uh, Milwaukee-Chicago Cubs game today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I drove back to Chicago. I've driven a lot across the Midwest. Yeah, I made it back for the uh, the Cubs Brewers game, and did you, which is kind of a big series. Yeah, it's pretty much for the division, and uh, right. it's the last three games between these two teams until the playoffs. Oh, they are. Well, that's so, probably good. I'm I'm kind of tired of the so Brewers. What? Uh, what, uh, what? So, how, did you get your tickets already, or did you? Yeah, did you I bought it. I bought it about an hour before the game. I was shocked. On StubHub, there was a ticket I found for only seventy dollars. It's right behind home plate. 13 rows up best seats i've ever had at wrigley wow. by fall for 70 bucks so wow. yeah i don't know why maybe they're desperate to get rid of it uh yeah so i school night or something maybe that's why yeah that kind of helped and then so i could see tom ricketts whole game he sits by the cubs dugout in the first row and i was watching theo and jed hoyer up in uh that i could see them really well the whole game yeah. So it's kind of tracking their progress. How many, yeah, was, how, how many Bud Lights did Theo pound? I don't know after the game, but he, he it was just funny when they lost and he just sat there. He didn't even move. <laughs> I don't think he likes losing to the Brewers. 
Yeah. All right. Well, but Gene... the Cub fans, the Cub fans, they all just go into the Cubby Bear and uh, start drinking and dancing. Yeah, so I guess they're okay. They figure what day it is. You know, they, they think it's yeah, for, yeah. They think it's for Sunday again. Yeah. All right. Well, it was uh, Wade Miley versus John Lester, and Brewers got wood off Lester early and quick. And man, they were yeah. launching stuff. If not for that breeze no. coming in uh, from uh, the, I don't know what, Lake, Lake Michigan. Yeah, Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. This, this game would have yeah. been twenty to three. I know. I was worried right away. I I was because Lester's been a little shaky early sometimes, and and uh, yeah, I was kind of worried. Oh, but Did you know, John Lester's only thirty four years old. I, for me, I feel like he's forty five or something. Like that. I know. I know. It's I pretty know. amazing, and he's still got a couple more years on his contract. So yeah. it was a great atmosphere. Good stuff. Uh, the Cubs they were just desperate to. They almost got it going, but they couldn't quite. I don't know. Do Josh Hader yeah. was good. He was good. Well, he pitched winning. Well, how about Javi? Let's get to. We'll get to that in a second. But Javi, uh, when Wade Miley, the pitcher, the Brewers pitcher, was uh, pitching, and you know there's a couple guys on base, and you think, oh, oh, bunt, right, bunt, He's right, gonna bunt. Yeah. Well, he uh, took the bat back and swung. Javi is charging home plate. Almost got a uh, Rawlings baseball up his face. <laughs> yeah, he's very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 if I was Wade, if I was Wade Miley, I would have told, "Hey, this next one's coming at you, buddy. Try that again. This one's coming at you." Wow. Um, but yeah, and then uh, and then here's kind of a peculiar move. And again, Gene. Joe oh Matt, my God! I bet I know what you're gonna say. Joe Matt is not a good coach manager. Don't see what what is wrong with you. And they were doing a pitching change, and uh, you know Lester came out, and then they're gonna his right. position was coming up. He calls up Schwarber to bat, and then yeah. I think Burns was pitching previously, and then uh, Craig Council to uh, match the left-handed, right? Because Schwarber's left-handed, right? Yeah. So he calls yeah. up Hater. Well, the old uh, grand chess master, uh, Joe Madden, is going to pull Schwarber, basically take him out of the game, and put uh, Boti in, this yeah. young stud who uh, uh, has hit maybe two right. home runs at the right time. No, he, he's – okay, well, he, I, I don't know, three maybe. I, I guess, he's just mixed all together. I but. guess Joe Madden has a new guy who sucks his balls in the morning or something like that. Oh, know my up. gosh. What is uh, – Bodie, Bodie uh, proceeds to strike out on three pitches. Yeah. He looked a little overmatched. <laughs> I, I I was watching him, and I was like, I don't like the, the, his chances here. So you're going to pull Schwarber out? It's a one-run game, one run game. You're going to pull Schwarber out for that? Oh. Yeah, I I was like, go ahead and let Schwarber hit, but yeah, oh well, uh oh, what's then he do? Hater strikes out six in a row. What a he performance! Did? Yeah, it's six in a row. He struck out everyone he faced. Two innings. I thought it. I mean, when I was sitting there, I go, wow, he's kind of hard to hit <laughs> uh, tonight. It's pretty. I didn't fast realize he there, struck huh? out the. Of course, yeah, because I I could see it really well. It, it's amazing how. Quick, he comes in. I didn't realize he struck out six guys. Oh, well, that makes sense face. now. But now here yeah. was a uh, interesting, um, again, strategy move here. And, again, you're never going to see any of this crap in American League game, none of this stuff. Okay. So, Hayter, you know, pitched the first inning, and he struck out three guys. His position was due up at when Arcia – well, okay, well, Arcia was up. I think there was two guys on base. Arcia was up, and then Hayter was next. Um, there's uh-huh. two outs, and I believe Arcia like grounded out or something like that. But if you're Madden, why don't you walk Arcia? Yeah, okay, you're gonna whip, uh, you know, you know, bases loaded and all that stuff. But you're gonna at least make either Hater hit or have uh, oh. Council pull Hater for a batter, which he probably would have done because they're only up by one run, right? Right. So yeah. again, are, are we sure? Uh, are we sure John Madden? Joe Madden is is good. Are we sure about that? Jim? Is it genius? Genius. All right. And then, yeah. And then, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, His hair is gray again, though, by the way. Be, I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> well, it'd be great, yeah. too, if I had the brewers uh, on my tail. Well, I mean, he, he was dying his hair there for a while, but he went back to all natural. Um, and then, uh, scrappy. I think the brewers, I don't know. When I was watching them tonight, I go, I, I, this is going to be hard for the Cubs because the brewers are good. Every, See? Give you credit. They got a lot of good players to hit. And they got a really good bullpen. That's that's they're, they do. They're gonna win a lot that's of games. Me. and so. the Cubs are really really shaky in the bullpen right now. I'll tell you one thing: Brewers could win the World Series for sure. Yeah. yeah. So so took that thirty three to one. 
bet a long time ago. But all right, and then yeah. Shasin is going to play against uh, Quatana tomorrow on Tuesday, September eleventh. Oh, there you go, great. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Chase Anderson against uh, Hendricks on uh, Wednesday, and that will be it for the Cubs and the Brewers. Wow, so, we got to win. I'm just thinking with, tonight when I was watching him, I go, man, I I think it'll be hard to win one game. Hopefully, we'll win two, but it's not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, <laughs> yeah, a lot of work out of yourself. All right, and then Jim, yeah, we'll, we'll end up here quickly. Uh, just okay. the uh, other football. We'll go to football really quick again. Uh, yeah. San Francisco at Minnesota. Did you watch? You didn't watch any football, right? You were traveling. I, but no, no, no. It was on. I, I was at the uh, Packers official tailgate, oh. so they had it on a TV. So I, it was on in the background. I, yeah, I kind of looked at yeah. playing stuff. They probably, charge, really, they probably charge yeah. you for that, huh, Gene? The official tailgate. It, they, oh, it's. Do you know what's great? No. It's they. They built this building in the Lambeau Field or in the parking lot. It, and it's called the uh, Packers tailgate. You got to, I, I know when they open, so you got to get there right when they open. Otherwise it's hard to get in and okay. it's awesome. They have a band and they're doing, all, oh, it's crazy. Okay. But all right. well, the Vikings, play. the Vikings yeah. played San Francisco very well. Cousins looked very good. Uh, Kirk Cousins we looked did. very good. Jimmy okay. G, Jimmy G, Gene did not look I so hot. That. Did he threw three interceptions, didn't he? Yeah, he – now, Minnesota has a good defense, but, yeah, Jimmy G, I think every – a lot of 49ers fans came back down to earth. Uh, wow. After, after all the offseason talk, then they'll be – they'll say, well, it's because he dated that adult actress. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was all right. the thing. All right, and then, Gene, this is late, uh, late-breaking headlines. The Jets destroyed the Lions – I Nine. saw the score. I didn't. Yeah, it was like forty-eight yeah. to seventeen or something like that. I looked at the box score at one point. Didn't didn't uh, Stafford threw four interceptions? Yeah, he played pretty pro. I didn't actually watch this game, but uh, he played. Yeah. I was watching that Cubs game. Uh, yeah. At one point, the Jets were up by like twenty points or whatever, but the Lions went for a field goal. So, oh, uh, what? Matt, Matt Patricia, welcome to Detroit. Welcome to Detroit. Oh, that's right. And didn't Bill Simmons, didn't he, Bill Simmons said he's going to be a terrible coach? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, that, that, oh, I forgot. That's his debut, and that's how badly they played? Oh, that's not good. Yep. Not good at all. All right. Nope. And then, Gene, yeah. uh, all right, here's another kind of funny story. Uh, report. Rival clubs think Cleveland, as in the Indians, uh, the Cleveland Indians from Major League Baseball, uh, trade for Josh Donaldson was shady because ah. uh, he was on the DL and he was put off the DL and then put on the DL again after the trade. And he's got like, a couple of complaints from some American uh, League. Uh, I, I, I didn't really follow, but I heard that's yeah. what I, yeah. Well, well, Gene, what I mean, what do they want Cleveland to be, an Indian giver? <laughs> Oh, there you, go. there you go. When you when you get, they, remember they did that on Seinfeld. You remember? No. Cause you you give something, then you ask for it back. Is that yeah, what re-gifter. it is? Yeah, regifter. Oh, regifter, regifter. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And then, and then Gene, here you go. Gene, you got a house in Nebraska, right? I do on uh, Oak Street in Omaha. And, and you pay property yeah. taxes on that house? I do. I I pay property taxes. Yes, well, I do. Gene, those property taxes are probably going to the state of Nebraska college education system. I'm guessing. Okay. And, uh, Hi. Two Hi. two weeks ago, Nebraska was playing some you know scrub team from wherever. Uh, uh, they're playing Akron. Yeah, there's some inclement weather, Gene. Yes. As if Nebraska, which is like a hurricane, no, 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 a tornado alley. Then there's yeah. there, 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 there yeah. a couple of raindrops, and all of a sudden they're afraid. <laughs> I know. They, all right, whatever. Uh, okay. They canceled what? the game. Yeah, I know. So uh, want- I'm going to oh, – let me give you out the email to email to get your refund. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, Gene, there is no refund. I know. Sorry. How can they do that? How can you charge people for? I mean, not even a partial. How about a partial right, refund? Right. Gene? I know. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, what do you think? They'll, they'll, you know what they'll do? They'll let you go to the spring training game for half off or something. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. I know. I saw that. I go. That's terrible. The Iowa wouldn't do that. We would give people oh, their sure. refund. Yeah, All right, Gene. And no, normally we would do the uh, the Vikings suck, but I don't, does anyone really need to listen to the Vikings? You know, hey, they're going to be good, huh? In the future, yeah. So is that game the the Vikings and Packers play this week? It is in Green Bay. Yep. 
Yep, it is. So, that, yep. yeah, let's look That's ahead to the football. Big game. The big football. Let me pull up the NFL app. So, yeah. And then, uh, what, Seahawks play Chicago, right, on Monday night? Monday night football. So, that should be yep. exciting. Is, are you guys in Seattle or in Chicago? I think it's in Chicago, and uh, uh, it's going to be, I uh, expect big things. Because now, now the Bears have kind of got the fans thinking maybe they got a decent team. All right, Minnesota. So. I agree. With me. I think Minnesota is probably going to pull that. I don't think. I don't think there is playing on one leg <laughs> against that defense. Probably not going to be the best uh, thing. Oh, uh, I know. Good. All right, and then uh, Detroit at San Francisco. Great. Eight. Boy. All right, and then some other teams. But uh, all right, Gene. It's late. It's late over there. I know yeah. you're trying to. Um, it's eleven. It's midnight. Yeah. And I. Yeah. Been a long five days, but uh, it's so great. So, what, Gene? You're traveling to uh, Des Moines now to to, to <laughs> yeah. get Aunt Bessie? No, no. The... <laughs> tonight I got it. Tonight's easy. I only got to drive to Elk Grove, which is a suburb of Chicago. So, yeah, yeah, not too bad tonight. All right, and then when do you come no. back? Are you are you going to the Cubs Brewers tomorrow or what? Are you no, about I'm it? coming back tomorrow. No, I would like to, but yeah, yeah. I'd have to change things. So, you yeah, to, uh, uh, maybe go. Oh, I'm going to see the Cubs again. Uh, I'm going to see them twice next week at the White Sox and against the Pirates. So maybe, I don't know, will they be in first place by then? Do you think next week the Brewers will be in first place? I do. I don't I don't think the Brewers will maybe like lose maybe three more games, and that's pretty much it. What about St. Louis? They're playing good, too. They, yeah, yeah. They're playing Pittsburgh. They're, they're beating each other up right now. But they're like two and a half. They're going to be three games behind us. Yeah, they, the oh, St. Louis won. Yeah, yeah. yeah they went to... I'll tell you my thing. Brewers are good. Yeah. I see full credit, full disclosure. I think uh, the Cubs are, and the, the Cubs are uh, the tough time. They they're gonna have a hard time. Yeah. Well, I hope you won that. Because they've three in a row. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's a good thing. So. All right. Mm. All right. Well, Gene, that's it. I'll let you. Uh, yeah. Finish I had up. a great time with my mom too. So she she says hello. <laughs> I guess I don't know, or maybe she didn't. Maybe I'm supposed to say okay. hello to my mom. All right, yeah. Gene, you're starting to get a little delirious, so uh, just right. get some sleep. I'm walking right. the streets. I'm in uh, the streets of Chicago, the murder capital of the world, I think. Right, I, I think these guys like to shoot each other around here. So I don't know, walking around just at midnight. Walking, say, I have a lot of drugs. I have drugs. Yeah. If anyone wants drugs, well, I have drugs. Walking the streets of Chicago after midnight in a neighborhood I don't really know. So I don't know if it's the smartest all right, thing. Your car. All right, well, okay. we'll find out next week if you survived. All right. All right. All I right, think so I'll make it back. For Gene Steich and my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys. And, and, and thanks, next everyone. Time. The people in the Midwest are so great. Love them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.